So, I was <laughs> starting a new build and wanted to do a bit of research, not really certain what I was going to make. Most of the things I wanted to do was stacked leather handle. Didn't care what, well, I wanted combat knife, not stacked leather hunting knife, because, you know, combat knives are where it's at. So, I decided, like, I was going to do World War II combat knives, because, you know, I've made kind of K-bar style ones before and a few daggers here and there. But I want to see, you know, what, what kind of stuff could I come up with. My thoughts basically making another K-bar type knife. Just calling it a World War II combat knife. You know, a little more accurate to what they originally were instead of this close enough like I did like a year ago. But in my research, I actually stumbled upon several different knives that were used by the US for, you know, combat knives. Which I didn't know there was so many different types. Because uh, you always hear, you know, people talking you know, World War II combat knives, they always talk about the K-Bar. But there was a lot of them. One of them I found was referred to as the M3 combat, or M3 fighting knife or M3 trench knife. Seemed to depend on what you clicked on. But it's essentially the same knife, and that's what I'm making today. Basically, it was a uh, bayonet without the stuff to actually strap onto your rifle. I couldn't find out a ton on them about who was issued them, but from what I could find, I think it was issued by uh, the army and was usually given to people who wouldn't have had a bayonet. And most of the people who I could actually find carry them were like airborne divisions, as well as people who would have carried like submachine guns as opposed to, you know, like the M1s. So I don't quite know the accuracy of them, of that statements, because again, that's all I could find. But basically, drunk of spring steel here, gonna hammer out into kind of a bayonet style blade and go from there. Hopefully this looks cool. I mean, it's gonna look cool, it's nice, I love knives. But, you know. Anyway, I probably shouldn't drag that much of it.
Okay, now I have everything kind of roughly forged out. I gotta take a grinder and uh, clean it up, of course. The edges kind of need to be a little bit narrower. I couldn't find how wide they are, so I just kind of guessed on it, but hopefully this doesn't turn out too bad. Of course, need to adjust the tang a little bit. So it doesn't need to be anywhere close to that long. And then I need to make it round here, so that way I can uh, thread it so I can put that kind of pommel on it. Okay, now that I got the blade mostly ground down and sanded the shape, uh, before I heat treat I'm going to make the guard for it. That's because I'm going to actually hammer this onto it and I don't want it to be hardened while I'm doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my air grinder, cut the slot out, file it a little bit, then heat up in the forge and then hammer it down so that way uh, it fits perfectly onto the tank. So this is actually coming along fairly nice considering I just started yesterday. But uh, I've got a little bit of stuff done. I got that made. I also made this pommel. Literally just took a head of a bolt, cut it off, threaded it after I put a hole in it, of course, and just threaded it onto the end of the tang. Didn't film it because I forgot. And it's fairly simple, so. Also, I etched the whole thing, all pieces, in ferrochloric acid. The guard came out looking a little weird, not gonna lie. But I really love the way the blade turned out. So, yeah, I've never done it before with this, but I really like the way it like, has like that rough edge and then still has the black blade instead of the polished out blade. But now what I'm gonna do is I have all of these, just square chunk of, speak, chunks of leather that I'm gonna stack up onto here. Also I can film that because I literally just, I, I cut them out with a knife and then I'm just gonna shove them on there. It's time consuming and it's very boring, so. If you want to actually see that happen, just imagine in your head me just taking uh, taking this, sliding it on here, tamping it down on something so it's nice and packed, and just doing it over and over again until this whole stack's on there. Like I said, it's, it's boring. So I'll get back to you when I'm actually, you know, shaping these and, you know, making it look like a handle instead of just a bunch of little leather pieces.